Hello everybody and welcome to my 23rd Microsoft Access 2013 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how you can use a create table query uh, to set up a whole new table and in this example I'm going to be creating a kind of archive table that keeps a record of any of your old data so let's go to create and then let's go to our query design uh, and I'm going to put in the sales table. So this is the table that I want or query that I want to be using to give me the new table. I'm then going to click on my uh, make table query here uh, and we need to put in a new table name. So I'm going to put in archive sales. And in fact, I'm going to call it sales archive because that sounds better and then I'm going to press OK. You can use it to create a table with the same name as one that you've got already and what it's going to do is it will remove the old table and put a new table in its place. Uh, so be a bit careful if you're doing that because you can lose all your data. Now I want to create a table which has all of the sales that are more than a hundred days old. So I'm going to put in the sale ID, user ID, quantity, item number and the sale date uh, but the criteria I want it to be anything that is less than or equal to the date which you just use uh, less uh, the date function which you can get from your build tool so let's just go into my build tool and show you what it is so functions built-in functions date slash time date and this just gives you the current date. So that one's useful to use. Uh, and I'm going to put minus 100. So it's going to create me a table with any of the records that are less than or equal to 100 days ago. And let's save that. So I'm going to press save. Then create archive. Press OK. And then I'm going to set up another query that just did, does the same thing. Uh, but deletes the table. So let's create query design and then we want to go into our sales and change to a delete query. And I want to delete all where the sale date is less than or equal to date minus 100. And let's press save. I call this delete archived and so now we've got our two queries so I can uh, go into my create archive one press yes and it's not going to paste any rows so I'm going to put no um, and so I've actually not got any data that's old enough to work with this so let's just fudge some of my date around just for the example so let's put some as 2013 uh, 2013 cool okay so now when we go to our create archive press yes and it's going to take six rows from our table and it's going to put them in a new table and it's going to be all the ones that are older than 100 days so press yes and now you see we've got the sales archive and it's all of the ones I've just changed that have this old date on them uh, and then if I press my delete archived press yes and then it's going to delete those six rows from the sales table so now they're no longer in here uh, and you could just keep doing this every day and just uh, setting up your uh, new archive folder uh, with your various archived ones um, and that is essentially how you create a new table with a query uh, so any questions drop them in the comments below or on our forum uh, and if you enjoyed these tutorials then uh, please look in the description there'll be a link to our Facebook page where you can like us there and you can get all our new news about everything coming out and what we're up to. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you soon.